to transition. Westfield hoping to turn the corner here. They're going to have to crank up what they're doing defensively, get some stops, and get a little more efficient offensively. Carmel with a nice float across the paint. Shot put up, no good by Dylan Mallory, but that was an awfully good look, nice, a well-designed yeah, play. Nice play, good look, didn't go. And if you're Westfield now, you, you need to really come down and think about throwing the ball to 24 in the post as much as you can get it to him. And, you know, Alec Peterson doing a nice job on him right now, really doing a Norris. nice job denying him the ball. Norris lost the handle when he tried to kick it back out. They'll throw it in the corner, three-pointer, Sam Kurtz. Deep in the well, no. Rebound tapped out, controlled by Nate Hartower. That did everything except stay in, you know? I mean, it really did. Hartower posting up, down low, shot falls at a foul. Delivery pass, but he did it. And Howard, in, you know, with the contact and one, that's a walk. That's an absolute, there you go. But a steal by Fuller. Fuller gets it back. Uh, Heffern's back in with four. Heffern comes back, and I think that's the idea. We're going to rotate him in, bring one and then the other, and try to buy some time. Little turnaround. Yep. Can't believe he was that wide open. I think it scared him. Stock, I, Stockton nope. was wide open and missed it. I think you're right. I think Michael Stockton took a look and expected to see another body. Wasn't really a shot. He aimed it. Short-armed it, no doubt about it, 32-20. Mm. Not at full strength. He hurt the ankle a couple of nights ago against Fishers. Uh, he's put in a very valiant oh effort tonight. There's a nice play by Jake Norris defensively. Missed the layup. Ball tapped up. He comes back in bounds. Gets oh, it. my goodness. And as he grabs the rebound, he falls to the floor and is called for the travel. If you're Westfield, great hustle. Unfortunately, nothing resulting from it. Six and a half to play. Peterson, shot partially blocked. Heffern knocked Howard to the floor, no call. You know, I'm convinced, Mark, that at this stage that the, the officials, to their credit, haven't called anything and aren't going to call anything around the hoop. They're just not going to. Fuller off the dribble, nice touch. That's a good one-on-one -on -one move, and well, we've said that more yeah. than once tonight. Yeah. He has seven. He got a little separation because of the screen from Jeff Howard and in rhythm off the bounce. Just a sweet looking stroke. Hammonds has been dispatched to the scorer's table with four fouls. Expect Westfield when they get the basketball to go at him right away. 32-31, Carmel with the basketball to the one point advantage. Heffern posted up. Instead, Baldridge drives to the hoop. Can't get it to fall. That's to make the lob into Hammonds. Can't do it. Close to a five second call. They finally find Heffern. Kick in the corner, swinging the ball around the perimeter. Now they're matched up. You know, have some bad matchups right now on the part of Westfield. To Hammonds right away. Shot up off the glass yep. and in. So good move. Quick. Again, it's that quick move. Not catching and hesitating, but catching and going to the rim. Six to Hammonds. 34 31. Three point lead for the Greyhounds. If you okay, Westfield, firstly, Howard's posted yeah, up that get, time, yeah. and they didn't they, they didn't look at. Got to go right back to him. He, you got to get it to him. He's got to go right at Hammonds. I mean, and you got to do it under control. That's the key. You don't want to force it. You want to have it come to you as part of your offense. There he is, little fadeaway. Got it to fall. That's a tough shot. Tough Eleven one. for Jeff Howard. You got to go right at him. But exactly, that's what Hammonds is going to do down at this end. And quite frankly, at this point, Howard has a bit of an advantage in the fact that, Coach, he's played quite a while with three fouls. Yeah, he's, made, he's, he's gotten by. He only has three. Heffern taps it up, almost got it to fall off the missed three-pointer. Four and a half to play. Again, Noblesville knocking off Hamilton Southeastern, 43-42. Fuller to Good. the baseline. Yeah, the problem you had there is you had too many green shirts in a short amount. Kicks of it to plus. Howard, and Hamilton's five. gone. You like your chances when you have the big guy. Kurtz can shoot the lights out of it. I don't think Westfield's converted the back half no, of a free they throw haven't. all night long. They haven't. We're tied at 34 with four minutes to go. Two good ball games here in this Carmel sectional tonight. Mike Baldridge, nice player, 13 points on the night. Yeah, but again, you go to him, and with this lineup, he's got to be a guy who steps up. I right. mean, you got to look to him. He's got to be more assertive when he has the ball in his hands. they got to look to see him, free him up with some screens. You want to continue to, to attack. You don't want to take the air out of it. You want to go to the rim. Baldridge off the screen again. 
tied at 34. Approaching three minutes to play. Extended possession for Carmel. Peterson, baseline, wants to drive, throws up the oh, yeah. hook, got it to fall. How about the running hook now? You know, if, I think he feels more comfortable faced up to the hoop, and he sure did on that possession. Big basket. The lead two for the Greyhounds. Shamrocks with a basketball under three minutes to play. The zone still by Carmel, and it's real open in the post. Wide open. Wide Stockton open. was at the elbow and had a look. Wide open. And bypassed it. I think, you know, that sets up their high low. You just keep rotating Howard on the baseline, keep Stockton at the high post, throw and look. Two and a half to play. Two-point lead for Carmel. Westfield with a basketball. Now, if you're Westfield, again, I said it earlier, look to make penetrating moves. Look. There it oh, is. look at that. No look pass. Down is. low and the finish. Look. Hartower with eight off the great look out high. Look to get inside. However you can get there, Mark, on the dribble, on the pass, on the cut, get in the post. Tied at 36. Two minutes to play. A lot of contact. No call by Hartower. Timeout. I think you could, in any combination, uh, any team could win on any given oh, night. Oh, no question. We talked about it at the uh, pairing show. Oh, here's Howard that. with the steal. Howard look with the steal. Can he finish? Yes, Absolutely. he does. 13 for Howard. How about the big fella? Under the, two to play now, 38-36 Westfield. Well, it's the kind of play that energizes everybody in the uh, in the, in the gym. It energizes your teammates, but if you're Carmel, you know, you just got to match that intensity, and they're out right now. Carmel, on the other hand, 22 sectionals, six regionals, three semi-states, and a state title in 77. Well, they, they got Fuller on Kurtz, which is a great move, quick on quick. And then they put uh, Norris on Baldridge. Kurtz to Heffern in a double team. Shut off on the baseline. Oh, Kicks it out. Three-pointer, Baldridge, no. Rebound, tapped out long, kept alive into the hands of Westfield, and they call timeout. Probably are, are going to try to foul. You know, you know, not do it now, but get deeper into possession. And if you foul, probably not a bad idea to foul. Ball loose yeah, on the floor. The turnover. Carmel with a steal. Baldrige with a basketball. The kick in the corner. Alex Payne back in the ball game. You have time, but you still want to take another timeout. Mm, they got stepped over. Oh, he went over and back. back. That's tough. At a most inopportune time. But still, you know, work if you're Carmel, work to get the ball back. You did it the last time. Try and do it again. And a foul. Especially important if you can build on the lead. Hits. Eyes it. He has five now. Nothing but on those. The lead four, 40-36. Yeah, Greyhounds you, don't yeah. need to push the no, panic button. And you don't need three. You just you, you want to go to the rim and get the best shot you can, just like this. Payne can't get it to fall. Oh. There's Peterson with a big window and can't get it to fall. Still tapped Pass. up and in by, who was that? That was uh, Gardner. Ben Gardner. Ben Gardner. Ben the six-foot sophomore came from nowhere, tapped nice. it up and in. One and two A. Be with me in the morning, but I'm going to take the afternoon and evening off. So well, you can tell you got to get it in. They do so to Fuller, and Fuller's mm. fouled right away. Rattled it home on one another's regular season schedule. Interesting. Pressure, kind of slow them down to make them have to use all 84 feet and work against the clock. Ben Gardner crossed the timeline. All kinds of contact by Hartower. They get it baseline to Baldrige. Can't get the shot to fall, and there's a foul on the rebound. I How believe it's. As Jeff Howard steps to the free throw line with 13, make it 14. If uh, if you're Carmel, they're probably going to have to. And again, they missed the back half. Exactly. Heffern with the rebound, up the floor. Gardner, Gardner to Baldridge and a foul. The lob in. Heffern kicks it in the corner. Three pointer. No rebound controlled by the Westfield Shamrocks, and you can just about pencil it in. Roll around and in. And against Noblesville here at 7.30. That free throw rolls around and falls out. Clock down to six, down to five, down to four. Three-pointer, no good, and that's going to do it. Westfield has knocked off Carmel.